Hello and welcome to this Ecognition Deconstructed video. Today we're going to have a look at the Sobel Operator Filter. So first theory and then I'm going to show you a project in Ecognition how you can use it. So what does it do? It creates an image emphasizing edges. So if you're looking for edges, it makes sense to calculate this one first before you do a segmentation and use this information as input for your segmentation, for example. The operator uses a two, three times three kernels, which are convolved with the original image to calculate approximations of the derivatives, one for horizontal changes and one for vertical. Sounds more complicated than it is, so it simply looks for vertical and horizontal edges. The input is one single layer and as well the output is going to be one single layer. Let's have a look at a few examples. That's an image of a erupting volcano. Um, if you apply the Sobel operation filter, this is the result, right? Um, and you see the edges are highlighted. And now if you do a false color composite, uh, you can get something like this. So you really see where the edges are. Uh, edges can be found in high contrast areas. Right. Now focusing a bit more on remote sensing applications, let's assume you have this input image and you're looking for agricultural fields and so on. You can run the Sobel and get the edges. That's the output of the Sobel and again you can do a false color composite. Now in this case red highlighting the edges. Um, let's have a look at a subset and see how it looks there. And you see first white edges so high values where it finds edges and then false color composite uh, combination with the input bands and my Sobel output. Okay let's have a look at an e-cognition project and how you could implement this Sobel operation filter in a project. So what we see here is a DSM so a digital surface model See here the red areas are mountains with features on top trees or something and here in the valley we have buildings. And what I'm interested in is the buildings. And buildings do have defined edges and high contrast to the surrounding. A lot of users are trying to get nice outlines of the buildings based on optical data and elevation. Uh, that's a very good approach combining these data sets but I'm suggesting to also add an additional layer in this case here the Sobel operation filter which will give you high values for the edges of the buildings okay so let's go through this process and check the result at the end and then you can for yourself decide if this is useful for you or not um, first I apply the smoothing to the DSM um, because I have these pixel artifacts here. So I'm using a median filter simply to um, get rid of these salt and pepper effects. So I'm going to execute that one. And that creates a new layer. So you see the edges now look uh, better. The stretch is different. Nevertheless, you see the buildings here. Uh, and with also vegetation. And then uh, for detecting the edges, I'm using the Sobel operator filter. So choosing it here, again, settings are pretty simple. You cannot change uh, the box size or the, the filter or anything. That's predefined. Um, I'm running it on the pixel level. Input layer is my DSM smoothed and uh, output layer um, to find the name of the Sobel filter. Output layer visible, yes, so it's gonna pop up. We don't have a region, so easy as pie. Let's check the output. Oh, wow. So this looks actually pretty nice. You see the buildings up here, they have very nice outlines. Right, so red means high value, blue low value, and you see you actually get a nice delineation of the buildings. Let's 
change it to a false color composite and highlight the edges, right? So it already looks like a good delineation of the buildings. And finally, what I do is simply I use a segmentation, my favorite one, straightforward, multi-threshold. And I say use the Sobel filter, so the output of our algorithm. Use a threshold of two and uh, create objects, right? And that's going to give us nice objects, as you see here, um, for the buildings already. So let's turn on the smooth, turn, uh, turn on our DSM, um, just a stretch maybe. And now check out how that looks like. So you see we already, for the buildings, we do have very nice objects, which could be a very nice base for our project and for our detection of buildings, if you're interested in buildings. That was my assumption. Look at these buildings here. Very nice outline already. So that's a use case. I think some of you might find that helpful. Go ahead and try to use this Sobel operation filter. Uh, it's giving you additional information that also can be helpful in segmenting your image and classifying it. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.